Hey fish fam, hope you're having a good day, or at least uh, better than me right now. <laughs> um, I was going to initially release a fish room update video, uh, a big part of it really was going to talk about this 90 gallon bow front tank here, um, we were also going to talk about that hex here that's been sitting around forever, as well as our new 510 plywood tank, um, we'll talk about those two here later, but um... Got some unfortunate news about the 90 gallon bow front here guys, which was going to be again a huge part of my fish room update video, which I honestly I was uh, going to release here, but uh, kind of scrapping it now because as you'll notice there's a big piece of driftwood here now and if you look at the bottom of the tank, or if you haven't noticed already, yeah. This huge honking piece of wood, while I was trying to move some stuff away from up there, uh, fell in here because I dropped it. And in result, the uh, bottom panel to our 90 gallon bow front is shot. Yeah, this, uh, this sucks. <laughs> this was going to be the tank for the uh, green spotted puffers here who are, as you can see, um, starting to really need to get out of that 20 gallon uh, long tank there. And yeah, this 90 gallon bow was going to be their home. But obviously if the shot panel down below there, that's not going to happen anymore. So uh, getting some new plans made down here. I know I've talked about this tank a couple times and it I mean, as you can see right here, i uh, got a stand for it that I actually personally customly built out of uh, plywood, cedar, and then just two by fours and such, nothing super crazy. I was also working on a video for that. Still might go ahead and release it anyway, because honestly, uh, well, this 90 gallon bow front is probably uh, as good as trash now, unfortunately. Um, you never know, we could find another 90 gallon bow front, and honestly, uh, a 90 gallon bow front has the same footprint as a 72 gallon bow front, so uh, I'll hang on to this stand. You never know. Um, we might end up using it then, and then, you know, hey, even if it doesn't have a stand, you know what? We'll, we'll be golden. And then in the long run, I kind of look this now thinking what an idiot I am for doing that, or even trying to move stuff uh, with a big glass tank down below, but. Uh, you know, it's been sitting down on the ground for over a year, and uh, this is the risk you take when you do that. You let things sit, and you take risks, and uh, with this tank, guys, I got burned. Yeah, I'll hang on to the stand. We'll see if we can find something else, and uh, I think I got a plan, a new plan for the green spotted puffers. It's going to involve a lot more logistics than what this tank would have involved, but uh, I'll talk about that in another video, but... Wanted to share this with you guys because uh, I know we've talked about this before and I've talked about it a couple of times in streams and past videos that I was starting to work on this. But uh, yeah, unfortunately work now is going to come to a halt because I can't put water in this now. Yeah, wanted to share this little update with you. Uh, sorry that uh, after coming back for such a long period of time that it's a bit of a, a downer video. <laughs> I promise my next one will be a little more upbeat, but... Uh, Thanks as always though guys for all the support and watching this little update. Uh, I'll have another video out before my next live stream. Until then though guys, thank you all for the support and uh, watching this quick little video. I'll uh, see you all later. As always guys, uh, stay fantastic.